Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. I just got back from vacation on Monday and I figured I'd share with you my favorite network gear when I am away from home because I cannot bring Omada with me. So I can just bring this small device with me. So the number one reason why I bring this gear is cost saving and for convenience for going online away from home, away from your data service provider. So I cannot leave home without this device. Let me just unplug it. So this is my PC, so let me just unplug everything. And this is uh, so I can show it out to you. So it's a GL iNet Slate Plus router. It has a one port, two LAN ports, and a multifunction USB A port, and it's powered by a USB C. It has two antennas that you can adjust for better coverage, and it has a status lights in here. Really cool looking device. Has air bands and has minimal buttons on the side as well. As you can see, I don't have internet here because I turned off the device. So let me just plug it here. And I'm imagining I'm in a hotel and plugged into one of their wide network. I'm powering it up with a power bank. Yeah. Ping T is a batch file that continuously ping google.com. Finally boot it up. Yep. There you go. So this is the GL iNet Slate Plus. It's $90, but it has a $15 coupon. And as you can see, it has a really high rating. But it has a lot of features you can see here. I really like that it has AdGuard Home and ports WireGuard as well. Like I said, the main reason why I bring this to my international travel or on a cruise travel is to save up cost. So this is an article that I just found. I just did a quick Google check on how much in-flight Wi-Fi costs. So it's a recent article, November 27, 2023. So it's just a couple of days ago that has been updated. And this device will more than pay for itself. The beauty of this device is that you don't have to just use it on an in-flight. You can use it anywhere you go that will require a per device ISP access. Of course, you can use your own mobile as a hotspot, but the challenge with using your mobile phone as a hotspot is that in my personal experience, it doesn't have wide coverage. So in scenarios where in you are sitting away from your family members, then the coverage is not that good. This device is purpose-built to be a router. So it can handle more devices and can handle more traffic. And this is why on my travels, while my phone felt warm during prolonged hotspot use, this device remains cool and stable. And the clients connected to it are also stable and remains connected throughout the whole flight. One of the features of this particular device is to be a dedicated router, but it has a lot of other features that you can use on your home as well when you are not using it as your travel router. So how to use this device as your travel router. I'm going to disconnect this one wide area network. As you can see, I only have my PC here connected and I'm only powering it with the power bank. Okay. So it's power and I'm only powering it with the power bank. So again, another convenience factor. I don't need to have an AC outlet. I just need a power bank and I can power it through USB-C. Okay. So now, all you have to do is get your phone ready. And this is your phone that's already connected to the Wi-Fi service provider. Let's say an in-flight Wi-Fi or hotel Wi-Fi. And all you have to do is just, okay, connect it here. There you go. And then enable USB ring. Here. Okay. 
Okay. And you can see it says tethering through Android and you can see the IP address. And let's go do that. Let's do cnn.com. And there you go. So let's do this. here check here if I disconnect it here as you can see the quest timed out okay and then if I plug it back here in I need to enable USB tethering that's it and there you go you can see that the tethering picks up that's how fast it can detect and switch back the internet so but let's try my wireless clients in here let's try my wireless clients and let's see here let's try doing that again and let's disconnect my wired cable you can see I'm disconnected and let me connect to my wireless So this is the SSID of that particular device. And you can see that's how it is. And again, let's do a quick demo again. Let's show you how fast the disconnection and connection is. You can see that it's connected. And then if I plug back in and enable USB tethering. So I think that's pretty much it. If you'd like to see or learn more about the devices that I use during travel, do let me know. Of course, this is not the only device that I use, but as you can see, this is why I cannot leave home without this particular device. It saves me a lot of money and gives me a lot of convenience for connecting the whole family or the whole friends or the whole group into a single device without any issues or without any problem if you like this video please give it a like if you don't like this video please give it a dislike but do let me know what i can improve on this video so that i can make those changes or apply those changes in future videos thank you for watching my video i'll see you on the next one thank you and bye bye